my friends. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're doing more live food. I'll show you what we have here. We're making pesto. So, we're making pesto today. I have here in the spinner, all ready to go, arugula, mint, and basil. Basilico. There we go, get a lot of that. And um, we have a big bunch of arugula and a couple of hands full, like about that big, packed in each of basil and mint. So let's pop this into the processor. And I'll tell you a story about today's recipe. So we're using whoop, flying greens. We're using all of our herbs here today. And um, and then we're using a special ingredient that I'll tell you about in a moment. All ingredients are special. I know that. We all know that. Okay. Get this in here. There we go. All right, so next we have some chestnuts. Yes, organic Italian chestnuts and some organic sprouted pumpkin seeds. Now we've got a little spice blend here that I put together, which is, where are you? Get in there. Sage, paprika, um, cayenne, coriander, seed, coriander seed, not leaf. Um, hold on, I'll tell you in a second. Fennel, lots of ground fennel seed, a little bit of cardamom, and cardamom, mm, 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 and some cayenne, and uh, yeah. Oh, and a little bit of dried basil, just to kind of get both aspects of the basil trick going. So we have this in here. Now, for the secret special ingredient. Organic Hoji Blanca olive oil. And uh, there's a story behind this. Years ago, when I first became a clinical professor, the manager at the college clinic uh, was a very nice woman named Jen. And she and her husband, Anthony, are real, uh, real, real, real food people. They love cooking. They come from heavily steeped culinary families. And so Jen turned me on to Hoji Blanca olive oil. She said it's like no other olive oil in the world. So I tried it and it is really, really good. It has a very lively kind of smoothness as it, as it goes in. Um, a little peppery, but yet there's a little bit of a fruity layer in there too. So it's not just bite, not just bite and you know that's good because we have arugula which is a really peppery quality let's try some oh yeah so Hoji Blanca olive oil thank you Jen and Anthony I'm dedicating this video to them I am not giving their last name because I haven't asked them permission to do so but I'll send them this I haven't seen them in a while they live on the other side of the country now but they are really really special people and uh, they're very special people and they make the world a better place. So, Jan and Anthony, hello, hello. Thank you for the Hoji Blanca. Okay. So let's get this on here. I suppose I could have, oh, nope, that won't do it. Turn the blade a little bit. There we are. Nope, that won't do it. <laughs> Done in real time. Keeping it real. Okay. 
So now we add the olive oil. Now this comes out really slowly, so it might look like I'm putting in a lot, but it's a real little trickle. Thin stream, almost like drop, drop, drop. That was probably about two and a half tablespoons of olive oil. And put that over there. And while we have the hood up, let's put in some avocado just because avocado makes everything better in life. And I am feeling happy about this avocado already. Oh yeah. Nice. In. So we get some good fatty acids. We get great protein from chestnuts and the pumpkin seeds. We get lots of beneficial, volatile, pro carminative digestive oils from the herbs and spices, lymph cleansing. We get Chlorophyll, of course, from the three kinds of herbs we have. And don't think you're done yet because I've got more information to share with you. We have... Make sure there's no little stem in there. Nope. It's all good. We've got... Nitric oxide potentiation with the arugula. We've got digestive benefits, liver benefits, um, respiratory benefits with the basil and mint. So let's get this started. Start on pulse. Stir. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mint leaf. There we go. Touch more olive oil in here. You could tell a lot of times with pesto by how it smells. It needs a little more oil and it has that little, it's lovely, but it has that little bit of grassiness in there. And I like that, but I want a little bit less of that. Avocado, get in there. there a try, okay? Here it goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, 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 
Oh yeah. Okay. This is perfect. So what I'm going to do is let it rest for a while. And that's necessary for two reasons. One, it will allow the flavors to come together. Two, it will allow us to prepare what we're using to serve our pesto. We have here sprouted organic quinoa and ancient grain medley. I like this company, True Roots. Make a lot of sprouted things and germinated rice. But here we have red and white quinoa, millet, and buckwheat sprouted. So we're going to sprinkle some into a bowl. That ought to do the trick, eh? Now, we're going to cook this. I suppose we could. We're going to cook it in a special way today. We're going to pour on the spring water. And let it soak. I'm just going to press that down with a fork, get everything submerged, stir it around a little bit. <laughs> and let's put a lid on it just to keep it nice and sanitary. So what we'll do is I will come back when this is all done soaking. How long will that take? I don't know. I don't know. It might take a couple of hours. It might take more than that. It might take a half an hour. But I will come back, I promise you. And we'll arrange all of this in the plate. We'll serve the pesto over top. And we'll garnish with a little cherry tomato. Okay. So, go get some organic Hoji Blanca olive oil. And uh, when you do so, you make sure you remember my good friends, Anthony and Jennifer. And um, you will eat well, I promise you. I promise you. What do we have here? We have avocado. Hoji Blanca. So there's our fatty acids. We also have some potassium in there and some minerals and some aminos in the avocado. We have our arugula and our basil and mint for digestion, for circulation, for aminos, for chlorophyll, 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 oxygenation. We have our herbs and spices, okay, um, for their carminative properties and, of course, their you know, flavor profile. And we have superb, superb protein, amino, amino, protein, amino acid uh, content with our sprouted buckwheat, sprouted millet, and sprouted quinoa. A little bit of sea salt to bring up the flavors and to make everything blend together. And also it gives us some um, trace minerals. All right. So... This is Supernatural Health. My friends, take good care of yourselves. Stay healthy. Stay in love. Stay peaceful. Stay hydrated. Stay, stay together. Stay harmonious. All right? Look after one another. And stay strong. And peace. And we'll see you very soon. Okay, bye-bye.